This video will show you how to define a data source in the Lucia Administrator or in the application CFC. We do start with the Administrator because we then later can use the data source defined in the Administrator as a template for the application CFC. First step, we are logging in. You can do this in the server or in the web, web, web administrator, it doesn't matter, it's the same. So we go to data source. Now we, you, you see we have a section create new data source. First we choose the type. If you don't find the type of your data database in that list, you go over to extensions applications. This is the section where you can install new applications or uninstall existing applications. At the bo bottom you find a list of not installed extensions. You see we have here for example Oracle or As, uh, MaxDB or H2 available that are not installed yet. So if you want to have Oracle you simply can install it here. Then it will appear in the list over at services data source. We are going back and in my case I'm choosing MySQL. I give it a name and I click create. Then I'm coming to the details page for creating. There are all of kind of specific settings to that data source type. Um, my MySQL server is, is local, so localhost is fine. Port is default port, that's also fine. I'm setting my credentials. And they're following a couple of custom settings. I keep it as they are. Um, clicking create. Now I'm coming back to the overview page. And you see the it already did a check and did verify the connection, so it's, everything is fine. I can repeat that by clicking verify. In that case, it also gives me back all kind of information to the to the to the database connected. That's already it. So we already have defined that data source. Next step is to test that data source. For that we make a simple script. Here I have a CF query that that outputs the result. So very simple. I'm adding the data source. I press test. And now we run it. So that works. That's already fine. Next step is to to do the same in the application CFC. For that, we're going back to the administrator and we go to the detail view of the data source we did define. For me, that's the best way. There are other ways to do that, but for me, that's by far the best way to do that. So you go to the bottom of the page. You There you find a, a code example to do that in the application CFC. So you simply copy that, you go to your application CFC and paste that into the application CFC. As you can see it choose by default the name of the of the data source defined in the admin. Of course you can change that. Let's say we, we do um, in-app test And to make sure it doesn't use the data source from the admin, we delete the data source in the admin. To verify, we run the script again. Now we get the error that test no longer exists. That's fine. Uh, so we change the name to in app test. And we run it again, and now we have the data source coming from the application CFC. What we further can do is define the 
data source in the application CFCS default data source. That's very simple. You simply change the name from data sources, date.data source name, to just data source. So when you run again, you will see it fails because, of course, in-app in -app test no longer exists. So we go back to our code. We remove data source, then it will use the default data source. What again is, is our data source definition? And it works again. So that already is how you define data sources in the administrator or in the application CFC. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up.